here to answer a question. Um, how do you keep a texture on a weapon whenever a retexture mod is put on someone's computer? Now this is for Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 3. What you, basically what the question was is this person made a mod and they couldn't get it to work for other players whenever they did a retexture of the game get, uh, the guns that the game modded. So say there was a say for this one this is the uh, body for the LMG. Um if someone retextured the LMG using the system they had, it would retexture this the same way. And that wouldn't work at all. It would be just it would make this look ugly. Er. So, what I did, what you have to do, and let me close all these so I can show you from step, is basically you start off with you need to open your files and then go to your game files. Now this can be found in lots of ways. It's easiest way is window like mine says Windows 8, but this will normally be like my computer or something like that. Program files. Then go down to if you're using Steam, I don't know where it would be otherwise, but if you're using Steam, you go down to Steam. Steam apps, common. Simple as that. Then you find your game, follow New Vegas. And then here you'll have all your mods, not your mods, but like your uh, d extent application extensions, stuff like that. You don't want to mess with any of this stuff. This That's not for this tutorial. This right now is for your meshes and textures. You go in up here into data over in this folder. Now, if you don't have these files, I recommend you get them now because this will be important. Here's a mesh folder and a texture folder. Now, for this, I have in my mesh folder a file called Templar, which holds my armors and other stuff for my mod. Then here's my weapons with my custom uh, mesh. So then you go back into your data file. Once you have your folder in the meshes with your custom weapon mesh, you go into textures. You create another folder with these same files or at least the same folders to keep the files in and then you put your textures in there and that's not too hard all it is is like I said I create I went to textures I right clicked I did new go down here to new new folder then once I did that I renamed it Templar and I put all these in here where they belong and I made this and I put all my files and folders in here so that's not too hard and then from there once you have that once your files are in your folder and they can't be recognized by any other mod that, like, say, because what the problem was is whenever a mod, when, whenever a game, a uh, gun in game uses a me mesh or texture, it goes from the folder in textures, and then if it's a weapon, it goes into weapons. Now, the, now if I was using this, like, like I said earlier, it would go into two-hand automatic and then light machine gun. Now, if this, now if the light machine gun texture right here gets edited, then that would edit my mesh if I'm using that but I'm not using that anymore so I go into my folder Templar again and here's my mesh drag body so what you do is now you come into NIF scope you right click or left click I mean the part of the gun you want to texture first then over here it'll say NI tri strips then it'll be like a value over here and all the other stuff you bring this down and then you open BSS shader PP lighting project and or whatever, I don't know what it says but make sure it's the BBS shader PP. That's what you're looking for. Then you click on the BS shader texture set. Then it'll bring this box. You drop that down. Click on the gear. Then you find your folder. I mean, then you find your texture in the textures folder. And like mine's in custom weapons here, drag body. And then that'll give it that. So now instead of looking like the LMG, it has my custom texture or your custom texture, or it'll have the default texture if you don't if you're not good at texturing. But it'll make sure that if the re texture in the weapons folder gets edited, it won't change your weapon. So then what you do is now you go in the file, save as, and just save it into your custom weapons folder or save it over. Really, your it doesn't really matter too much where your mesh goes, it just matters where your texture goes so that it doesn't get replaced. So that's about all there is to it. Thank you for watching and see you next time.